Always disconnect the power and remove the battery when changing the LCD panel. Using a pick or flat screwdriver, remove the five rubber screw covers to gain access to the bezel screws. Then remove five bezel screws using a Phillips head screwdriver. Once the screws are removed, go ahead and pry open the bezel, starting from the side. Move along the top and the bottom edges, lifting the bezel towards the other side. Now we can remove the tiny screws holding the LCD panel to the hinge frame. There are four screws on each side. Please note that one bottom frame screw on each side is longer than the rest. Flip the screen over, putting it on the keyboard, and disconnect the inverter cable. Then disconnect the video cable and position it away from the screen. At this point, you may discard the old panel. If the new panel is not covered with a protective film, place a cloth or paper towel on the keyboard to protect the screen. Place the new screen on the keyboard. Reconnect the inverter cable, then the video cable. Please make sure the video cable is properly aligned and is fully plugged in. Don't apply too much force as the video connector is the most fragile part of the LCD panel. Loosen the protective film tabs. Flip the screen over, minding the protective film. Once the screen is aligned with the hinge frame, please remove the protective film. Attach the hinge frame screws. Don't forget that the bottom screw is longer than the rest. Now that both sides of the frame are secured, go ahead and replace the bezel. Start from the top edge and gently snap around the perimeter of the display assembly. Replace the five bezel screws and finally put on the screw covers. At this point, you can test the screen. Please plug in the battery and power of the laptop. Then turn on the laptop. Once the startup screen appears, you can hold the power button to cancel the boot up. And then you're done.